Ohio football is two and one. It's Austin P week. But before we get to the ball game, let's slice up the Solid Show. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Monday night, we were back at Donato's for the Frank Solid Show. We talked about Ohio's 34-31 win of the Marshall Thundering Herd, and we previewed Austin P. Plus, Ryan Tice from Bobcat Volleyball joined us. The Cats are ranked in the top 25. So without further ado, here are the best parts, the best slices of the Solid Show from Monday night. What does three in a row in your mind over Marshall mean to you and mean to this program? Well, I, I think it's huge to everybody associated with the program, um, you know, from the university to uh, the fans, to the coaches, to the players, you know, um, uh, it's a, a very strong rivalry and one that both teams take uh, very, very seriously and, and uh, obviously go all out to, uh, to try to win the, win the game. So being able to get it done against uh, really good Marshall football teams uh, you know, has been impressive for our, 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 our program. Your philosophy of including a 1AA team, an FCS team on the schedule, and where it's slotted on the schedule, uh, what are your thoughts on that, sir? Well, um, you know, obviously when we first got here and you're building a program, you're, um, you're, you're wanting to have a, a non-conference schedule that um, is going to challenge you. Uh, but obviously if you, if you play uh, Michigan, Ohio, State and uh, Oklahoma uh, as yeah. three of your four, you know, yeah. that's, that's, that's a little rough. So yeah. usually you like to play one uh, really big name uh, uh, program and then you'd like to play two programs that, you know, uh, that are similar to ours, you know, that, that it's a flip of the coin in terms of uh, uh, who, who's favored to, to win. And then obviously it, almost everybody, um, you know, schedules uh, such that, you know, that they'll get uh, uh, a Division One AA type of uh, program and uh, FCS program, and and um, you know they want it because uh, obviously they like to flex their muscles against uh, the different conferences and mm -hmm. uh, in Division One football, and and so you know they're anxious to have them, and uh, you know it seems to fit for uh, everybody in college football if you look around uh, and how the schedules uh, are in non-conference play. First off, congratulations. Thank I know you. it's got to be incredibly uh, special for you to be ranked. I know it's not the end of things, but uh, it's got to be awesome to see Ohio's name at 24th in the nation right now. It, it is. It's exciting for our players. It's exciting for our program. Uh, you know, and it, it's a great step. You know, um, the rankings, the hard part is, is you, you spend a lot of time not worrying about the rankings, worrying more about your team. And, and sadly, the RPI race, uh, you know, we've been on the bubble and around the bubble. So we focus a lot more on that. So it's as we've been focusing for that and trying to get, you know, top 50 wins and things like that in the country, this is, has come along with it. And it started with the Oregon win. And, and I think people took a little notice to that 3-0 on Oregon's court. And then, uh, you know, I th so we had votes and we were around the top 25 and we're close. And... Uh, the next step to that is following through and, and getting another one, and so then you knock off number 21, 30 on their court, and all of a sudden you show up, and um, you know we're we're very proud of it. We, you know, there are years where our ranking isn't necessarily a true indicator of how good you are, but I think the fact that we've beaten two really good teams and are eight and one with a lot of three O's in there, I think uh, I think that's about where we should be. And I guess it might be human nature sometimes for for teams A to take a look at the record of the opponent, B take a look at the classification of the opponent. Mm -hmm. How do you? Make sure that Austin P has your players' full attention this week. Yeah, well, our, you know, our program uh, from day one has been been built around really preparing the the best that we can, uh, regardless of, of who the opponent is, and 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 then you know we're after uh, trying to uh, to be the very best football team that we can be week after week. It, we don't want to be a football team that's basically an up and down football team that earmarks three or four of what people or uh, fans or even players might consider to be their their toughest games. Um, you got to. Uh, I've learned in this business, you got to prepare to play every single football game physically, mentally, and emotionally. And if you don't get ready, if you don't have all three of those components put together, and, and you don't get ready to play, uh, you're up upset potential. And um, and so our players understand that. It's Ohio and Austin P on Saturday afternoon at Peden Stadium. We're on the air network wide at 1 o'clock with the kick at 2 for the Bobcats and the Governors. Thanks to Tony Hermain for his good work. I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.